Hi guys, this is our course Approach 365 and we are going to have our course for the daily current affairs. Today is November 1st, 2019. We are having news from various miscellaneous sources, the Hindu PIB and uh, uh, miscellaneous sources and down to earth and the Indian Express and Economics Times too. Okay, I am Shubhangini Dubai. I am a journalist by profession. I had covered so many beasts of district education, the secretariat and the national green terminal too. And there are so many, uh, my freelance stories are also there. Okay, just Google my name Shubhangini Dubai and you will be getting so many stories too. Okay, so today we are going to cover some topics. There are Cyclone Maha. Second topic is Indian Brain Atlas. The third one is Mekong River. The fourth one is Malware. The fifth one is Jammu and Kashmir Public Safety Act, PSA. Then what is Air Independent Propulsion? Then International Solar Alliance and then European MPs Kashmir Visit. Okay, moving on to the first topic, Cyclone Maha. Okay, so recently the fourth cyclone this year in the Arabian Sea is the Cyclone Maha. Okay, and it is a severe cyclonic storm. Uh, before a day or two, we had also learned about the severe cyclone, strong cyclone KR. Okay, but it's the fourth cyclone in the Arabian Sea according to the Indian Meteorological Department. Okay, so the depression that had developed in the Comoran Sea. Okay, so depression is basically the low pressure. Okay, so it has occurred in the uh, Comoran Sea and it gained strength and turned into a cyclonic storm on the Wednesday evening. In the Wednesday evening on itself, it became uh, strengthy. Okay, and it, it, it turned to a cyclonic storm. Okay, now more about the cyclonic storm, the depression over Arabian Sea has intensified into a cyclonic storm. It is named Maha. Okay, the name is given by country Oman. Okay, so because there is a like chance where wherever the storm is coming, the country is having that uh, power to give the name. Okay, so name is given by the Oman. This year Maha will be the fourth cyclone in the Arabian Sea to form after Vayu, Hika and Kayar. Okay. So, this year so many cyclones were there in the Arabian Sea. The first one was Vayu, Hika, Kayar and then the Maha. Okay. Then uh, the question arises what is depression? Okay. So, depression is a circular low pressure. It's a circular low pressure. It's a geographic question. Okay. Uh, in the circular low pressure area roughly 300 kilometers. In an area of 3 kilometers wide with the surface, surface wind of 25 knot means 25 nautical mile per hour is defined as a depression okay so basically for 25 knots is equals to 45 kilometer per hour okay so this is defined as the depression which is in the cyclone maha okay now next topic is indian brain atlas okay so why we are discussing it because recently iit hyderabad researchers in iit hyderabad has created first ever indian brain atlas okay so an atlas of the brain is made by the researcher in iit hyderabad it is named as iba 100 okay so the name of the atlas is iba 100 other brains atlases include chinese korean and caucasian okay so uh, this is the first indian brain atlas Okay, so the design of Indian brain will be there. Okay, the first digital human brain atlas was created by Montreal Neurological Institute. Okay, so, so, so the first human brain atlas was made by Montreal Neurological Institute. Now the key facts of the atlas is the atlas reveals that India brain is smaller in height. Okay, so these are the key facts. And it is point to be noted that Indian brain is smaller in height width and volume compared to the western and eastern population okay so this is something interesting too okay indian brain are smaller okay this study will help in early diagnosis of brain diseases such as alzheimer okay so with the help of brain atlas scientists will be able to detect the diseases such as alzheimer and the indian specific brains atlas was created by using the mri scans of 50 individuals of different gender so basically the research was done uh, by scanning the 50 individuals of different genders okay the next topic is mekong river and why we are discussing it because recently mekong's water level falls as new laos dam begin operation okay so the laos dam is uh, made over the mekong river and because of that its water level is falling okay so the key fact is mekong originates in tibet so, so the mekong river is originates in tibet and flows through china myanmar laos thailand cambodia and the vietnam so sometimes in geography in the world geography there are questions related to the international world level rivers too okay which are important and which flows from one country to another covering a large area okay so it's like it's covering five to six countries so that's why it became important okay so starting from the originating from the tibet and then flowing through china myanmar laos thailand cambodia and the vietnam okay 
then the next topic is malware okay so why we are discussing it because recently nuclear power corporation of india npcil confirmed that a malware has infected its system so basically npcil system has been affected by a malware at kudankulam nuclear power plant okay kknnp and it is infected by dtrek a north korean virus so there is a name of virus to malware are having their names too so it was infected by dtrek a north korean virus okay now what is malware so it is a short for malicious software okay malicious software is like uh, virus which are infecting computer like our body is infecting infected by virus so we get viral so such as in, in computer too there is a malicious software okay and it is also known as the mal code mal code okay it is a code of software that is specifically designed to damage disrupt steal or in general infect to the bad or illegitimate actions on data hosted network so basically it just it is used to infect inflict the data by in the bad condition or in the illegitimate illegitimate way okay uh, and uh, it actions on the data host or network some of the more common known types of malware are virus worms trojans so these are the names okay we have heard about the ransomware the backdoors spyware and the adware okay bots these are some common uh, known malware then the next topic is jammu and kashmir public safety act psa okay and why we are discussing it because recently jammu kashmir chief minister dr farooq abdullah's detention okay so recently because of the demolition of article 370 most of the leaders of jammu kashmir were detained under the public safety act okay so dr farooq abdullah detained and uh, his extension has been increased by the three months okay they are, that's why we are discussing it's a very important topic okay so what is jammu and kashmir public safety act so just like india's national security act which was made in 1980s it's the jammu kashmir safety act which is known as jammu kashmir public safety act psa which was formed on april 8 1978 okay so it was formed by the father of farooq abdullah okay uh, the act was introduced as a tough law okay so it is a tough law which prevents it was made firstly it was made to prevent the smuggling of the timber to keep smugglers away but then it was also uh, in use uh, for the person uh, if they are a threat to the constitution of jammu and kashmir okay if they are not good for the public security too and if they are man, uh, not maintaining the proper law and order or any type of thing which can uh, make unharmony in the state okay so this law was for them okay so the law allows the government to detain any person any person can be detained under this law above the age of 8, 16 without any trial no hearing will be there under this law but now it is amended to detain any person above 18 years of age first it was 16 years but then it was amended and it became 18 years of age okay okay so detention orders under psc can be issued by divisional commissioner or the district magistrates okay so this divisional commissioner and district magistrate can pass the order now what is preventive de- under the preventive detention law jammu kashmir 1978 a person is taken in to custody to prevent him or her from acting in any manner okay so nothing can be done and that person will be detained that is prejudicial to the security prejudicial means hanikarak okay so it is prejudicial to the state or the maintenance of the public order period of detention will be up to 2 years okay so up to 2 years it can be detained and what are the challenges it is the only way detention order can be challenged is through a habeas corpus okay habeas corpus means to have the body of only Uh, there is only one way from uh, relieving from this act okay if if anybody is detained so only there is one way and if that way won't work then nothing can happen the person will be in the custody only it will be detained only okay so the only way is the habeas corpus and habeas corpus is like uh, a petition will be filed by the relative of the detained person only the relative of the detained person can find and high court and the supreme court will be hearing such petition and final order will be quashing the uh, this act okay and if even that one is uh, adjourned or that one is also cancelled then nothing can be done okay however if the order is quashed there is no bar on the government passing another detention order under the psa and detaining the person again okay so if it will be like uh, if the order is quashed there is no bar government passing another detention order under the psa and detaining the person again there can be no prosecution or any legal proceeding against the official who has passed the order so if district magistrate or the divisional commissioner has passed any detention order for any person or any leader 
then there will be no legal proceeding for those people okay if they have done then they the person whoever detained they will they have to go for the detention okay now this is also known as draconian law okay so such questions are very interesting for the upsc that which law is draconian law okay such questions can be asked okay so right from the beginning the law was misused widely okay so earlier the law was misused widely and was repeatedly employed against political opponents so earlier in the jammu and kashmir only the government itself the executing or the powered the government which was in power used to use this law in a mis uh, it was the law was misused widely earlier okay and it uh, it happened till uh, from 1990s okay so from the 1990s this happened okay in august 2018 the act was amended to allow individuals to be detained under the psa outside the state at where later the it was amended in august 2018 and then it was uh, uh, the detain was uh, happening uh, outside the state. Uh, even the person which is not in the state itself, that person can be detained outside the state too. Okay. The detaining authority need not close any fact about the detention which it considered being against the public interest to disclose. Okay. So, the term under a person is detained in the PSA are vogue and include a broad range of activities. It, has in, it, is, it is so dangerous. It is very dangerous law. Acting in any manner prejudicial to the security because nothing can be done. If you are detained, there will be no trial, there will be no hearings, there you can't even hire your own uh, advocate, then what bad can be apart from it, okay. This is the vagueness of this act, okay. So, the detained and now this is happening with the uh, leaders of Kashmir only, okay, who are detained under the PSA Act, okay. PSA does not provide a judicial review of detention, see, this is the limit of this act, okay. Uh, it is checked uh, so in this way as this act do not provide a judicial review even the high court can't do anything now okay so this ensures prolonged detention of people so it happens like prolonged detention of people happening okay now moving on to the next topic air independent propulsion okay so what it is it is a technology which is allowing a non-nuclear submarine to operate without the need of access to atmospheric oxygen okay so like earlier there is a surface and the snorkel was used to have the oxygen in the submarines but now it's not okay air independent with the help of air independent propulsion okay uh, and it is based on the combustion of a stored oxygen okay so stored oxygen will be combusted and ethanol to augment battery power propulsion okay so battery power will be battery will be empowered too okay now what is the significance okay so it enables a submarine to generate electricity now the electricity can be generated in submarine and battery charging will be there and a propulsion can be also there in the uh, submarine when it will be completely submerged okay so propulsion will be also there okay and it also generate electricity powering a submarine to operate also generate oxygen it will be generating oxygen too lightning and amenities for crew and in this way there will be no uh, there will be no need of having the oxygen from the snorkel okay now the next topic is international solar solar alliance okay so international solar alliance so india is hosting the second assembly of isa okay so as it is india is uh, uh, hosting it so ministry of new and renewable energy is hosting the event so basically uh, renewable energy uh, ministry of new and renewable energy is hosting it because it is uh, because of the, uh, solar energy is a renewable energy and the isa assembly is the highest decision making body it is the highest decision making body okay international solar solar alliance in the world and it gives direction on the financial and administrative issues. So, basically, it gives direction on the financial and administrative issues. So, more about the ISA, what it is, it is an alliance of more than 120 countries. Okay, so basically, if India is hosting it, it's a bigger event because 123 countries uh, is the, uh, is the uh, alliance of this initiative which was initiated by India. Okay, so the initiative was by India only, most of them being sunshine countries. So, basically, most of them are sunshine countries and sunshine countries countries are those countries which either lie completely or partially between the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn because the uh, uh, rate of or because the quantity of solar energy is much between the area of tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so mostly these countries are known as sunshine countries where the sunlight is in the high quantity okay 
and it extended to all members of United Nations. But now most of the members of United Nations have also participated in the alliance. Okay. The Paris Declaration established ISA as an alliance deducted to the promotion of solar energy among its member countries. Okay. So basically the Paris Declaration was there and it made the uh, international solar solar alliance and now it's dedicated to the promotion of solar energy because of this alliance solar energy is getting promoted okay now what were the objectives from the name itself it is almost clear that the, its major objective okay so now its major objective is include global development of over so uh, in the international level over 1000 gigawatt of solar generation capacity and mobilization of investment of over 1000 billion us dollars into solar energy by 2030 okay so this is huge okay so such this is the objective and this is the aim okay major objective okay now what isa does so it's uh, it bring together countries with rich solar potential so okay so it is an alliance okay and it bring countries which is having a large uh, solar potential and which can overcome the global demand okay which can uh, make sure that uh, yes global demand can be possible thereby reducing prices through bulk purchase okay so prices will be reduced and it will be a re renewable energy so it can be used accordingly and it will not be uh, it will it is also a good source of energy because pollution is less in the solar energy okay so it facilitated the deployment of existing solar technology as well and it will also promote okay it will also promote the research and development and the capacity building okay now that question is when it entered into force okay when india promoted countries to come okay so it it came in force on december 6th 2017 okay so just two years before the alliance was made and the uh, isa framework agreement entered as the india initiated it its headquartered is in Gurugram, India. Okay, so because India is initiate, India has already initiated this, so its headquarter is in Gurugram, India. Okay, now the next topic is European MPs Kashmir visit. Okay, so basically why we are discussing it because recently European Parliament MEPs, uh, which were in which more than twenty MPs were there, recently visited Kashmir. Okay, so recently they visited Kashmir. Because uh, to revoke a special as uh, a special status of uh, 370 was uh, demolished, okay. So uh, as it was demolished, so they were there to understand the ground situation of the area, okay. So what were the observation made? There were some simple observation that uh, the uh, decision to revoke provision of Article 370 gave status is an internal issue of India, okay. So they said that. Uh, whatever happened with the article 370 it's india's internal issue okay and it should not be against india okay uh, okay the recent terror attack on civilians indicate that terrorism is not finished yet in kashmir okay so recently a terror attack was made which made uh, european uh, mps felt that as of now terrorism is not finished there okay and uh, terrorism is not an Indian problem. It is a global problem. This was the aspect which came there. For most of these terrorists, their origin to Pakistan. So they also felt that the origin is from the Pakistan, the origin of terrorism. Okay. Now, after interacting with various groups, the MPs also interacted with various groups. They felt that the situation is not bad as they thought. Okay. So situation is not that bad as they thought. Okay. Now, Jammu Kashmir should be promoted as a dynamic place for building tourism infrastructure development projects and the educational institute. So, uh, some development should be made in the Jammu Kashmir so that project should be developed, tourism infrastructure will be developed in this way, development of overall union territory will be there. Okay. Now, Jammu and Kashmir is an, another union territory. Ladakh is also a union territory. So, congratulations for all Indians because now our India is having 28 states and the non-union territories which is which is making a country a singular country akhand bharat which we can say that's india okay so this was today's lecture and if you want to uh, enroll for the notes just enroll in the plus from dot in just visit the website the link is already in the description section thanks for watching